But what I wanted to, to highlight on that is the, the typical job hunt takes anywhere between two to six months, right? And why that happens is uh, they go to the, and, and post online, by the time the posting closes, it takes a couple of days, maybe a week or two for, for HR to screen some uh, the the resumes. Uh, it takes a while for them to um, bring the people in. It takes a while for them to get approvals. It takes a while for them to get through HR and actually uh, make the offer. And that's easily a month, uh, two months. And, and if things don't go your way or, or the company's really that slow, six months or longer um, could, could, could be the case. So just setting your expectations that um, it, it might not be immediate um, just because that's how long the process takes for some companies, right? Uh, you might be lucky in terms of timing, and oftentimes the smaller the company, the, the quicker the turnaround, right? Again, so focusing on those SMB, SME, small, medium business, small, medium enterprises can be a great uh, benefit to um, accelerating your, your job hunt. So, um, and I wanted to take a bit of time to walk you through how the hiring process works. So it's very, High level, it's, it's not 100% complete or correct, but at the same time, uh, overall, most people say, yeah, it's, it's kind of somewhere like this. So uh, this is you, and that's your application, your resume, your cover letter, whatever it is. And this is everyone else, right? They're applying online, but because things are so easily, I can like easy apply online, it's kind of like that. There's like hundreds, if not thousands of, of folks in a particular role. I know when I was at um, Deloitte on the undergrad side, uh, for a particular um, posting, we had a thousand applicants, right? Eight hundred to to a thousand was pretty common per term, right? Um, going through, so there's a lot of competition out there. And then what happens is that um, someone puts up a a job posting, right? And it goes to a recruiter, right? The HR department, someone screens it, uh, and then it goes to um, a short list. So out of that thousand, I would take that and make it maybe a, a hundred. Right, um, depending on, on uh, the number of people I'm, I'm targeting, uh, maybe 50, maybe 20. For every role that uh, a company is looking for, they generally want about uh, five to seven people being interviewed, right? Three to seven, actually, because sometimes they don't want more than that um, because it's just going to take each person, takes at least half an hour of someone's time and, and blah, 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 blah. Um, and they want kind of three because it gives them some options, right? Um, and then that, but the recruiter, instead of giving them three for interview, gives the hiring manager maybe five or seven. And they want to give them a, a bit of a variety of them because if everyone's the exact same and the hiring manager says no to one, chances are they'll say no to another. So they want a, a bit of variety in terms of that. So if you can, in your resume, um, show something interesting and different about it, it might um, kind of compel you outside. And that recruiter uh, sends it to a hiring manager. And, and yes, there's a difference. Uh, oftentimes people are confused where they want to network and connect with a recruiter. But actually, who you want to be connecting with is the hiring manager. So a recruiter is someone from HR who is trained to basically say no. They're finding a reason on your resume or your application to get you out of the, um, the pile and get it to that short number. Um, the hiring manager is potentially your boss, potentially the, the leader and, uh, of that group. So as you're looking for connections, you might not want to look for that person in HR. You actually might want to look for, this is a person whose job I want, and I probably want to talk to their boss. And that's really the, the, the person or the group of people that you want to uh, connect with. And throughout that process, you, you'll go through interviews. You might go through two, four, as many, um, well, as, as many as, as they can have. Um, sometimes they're individual. They, they often start with a phone screen um, just to make sure that, that you're a person, um, that sort of thing. And then they bring you in. They might have panels. They might have cases. They might have all these sorts of things. But after that, it gets to an offer, and hopefully you get a job. Now, there's a way to circumvent some of that. Right? Where oftentimes what happens is if you have the luxury of finding someone who is a referrer, who is someone in the company that says, hey, um, I know that there's a position open for this, or sometimes there's not even a position open, uh, but I know someone. They're, they're my, my nephew, my niece. They're, they're someone I play softball with. They're someone I met at a networking event. They're at a conference, at a whatever. I volunteer with. And they insert you in, in the process. Uh, and oftentimes that goes to the hiring manager 
Uh, they'll make sure from HR that everything's okay, just from a screening perspective, and um, it goes through the process. Now, if you think about it, the um, online pool, maybe a hundred, maybe a thousand people, but the referral pile is usually five, 10, 20, maybe a little bit more, depending on if there's a recruiting campaign on. But the question I have for you is, which pile would you rather be in, right? So for those who overemphasize on applying online, cool, that's interesting, um, but I kind of equate that to the difference between um, playing the lottery and kind of doing the work, right? So the difference between uh, buying lottery tickets and hoping to win uh, $1,000, $1,000 or whatever, versus working minimum wage for $14 an hour, and maybe that'll, that'll um, accumulate enough in, in terms of effort um, into an, an opportunity, right? So um, networking might seem like more work, but it's gonna be, uh, it's, it's a longer term investment as well.